What's up guys and gals, I think this day's been a long time coming. I haven't posted a video in over three weeks. Been rather busy moving into uni, I'm here now, it's the first day. And I feel like it's time to share this video I've been saving for you. So I'm in the T-35, the mighty Russian land ship. Cruising along here, it's a uh, impossible speed of course, we're in two times speed mode. And this game was absolutely incredible. I got 24 kills in this behemoth of a tank. And I rightly think my fans out there deserve to see it. So we're going to fast forward again, get ourselves up to the front lines. Half the battle with this tank is its horrendous speed and its it, it turns like a true battleship. That is to say, it is incredibly long. Pop! There goes our first kill. Of course, we positioned ourselves on the bridge here. to get some flanking shots. And this is, of course, just a, uh, a tier one match. So, I suppose you could call this seal clubbing. D don't blame me, that's what this tank is for. It's got so many crew members, so many modules, that it's almost impossible to knock out in one hit. In fact, it is impossible to knock out in one hit. And at least in arcade battles, as long as you have two crew members alive in your tank, this behemoth of a vehicle will still be fully operational. I believe it has somewhere close to 13 crew members. So knocking out all them dudes is one hell of an uphill battle. So we got our second kill there, or our third I think it was, our third, yes, our third kill. Pop! There goes our fourth. Pop. There goes the fifth. I hope you're keeping count as well as me, ladies and gentlemen. There's the sixth. Look, look at this thing. It's just a monster. And it's not like this is some kind of epic uphill battle where tanks are going to be slugging themselves out. Silly. No, that's the sort of shit you expect from the world of tanks. Now here, we've just got a slaughter. I mean, I like to think of this thing as perhaps a lower level KV-2 for that awesome howitzer it has. And from here on out, ladies and gentlemen, the game just gets even more astounding. There's another one. I've lost count. Too busy reminiscing and staring at awe at my legendary performance. Don't think me arrogant, ladies and gentlemen. This is, of course, a one in a million battle for me. But I do find that this tank, along with the uh, Nubafazoid, the German Tier 1 premium tank, are very adept at killing Tier 1, simply because of the dual gun system that you can make use of. Especially concerning the Nubafazoid being a medium tank, you can put two shots at once straight into the front of the tank and uh, I just think that gives you an incredibly unfair chance at killing your enemy in one shot you now twice the firepower, twice the mayhem, twice the carnage so now that I'm settled in uni uh, stay tuned there will be more videos coming hopefully uh, maybe once or twice a week seeing what my schedule is 
And I gotta say, the internet here, although I'm only getting the, uh, the free internet provided by my university, is a million times better than the internet I was using at home. I had an internet uh, bandwidth or speed, whatever when you call it, of 400 kilobytes a second. That is less than half a meg, ladies and gentlemen. And I survived. I brought you videos as much as I could. And I'm recording this at the moment in uh, full 1080p rather than 720, like I have in previous videos, now that my connection speed is... Uh, you know, increased by a factor of 40, uh, 40, then I'll be able to bring you these kind of videos more often and in higher quality. We're going to move up here. And I've got to say, this is one of my favourite maps on uh, War Thunder. It's certainly a joy to uh, drive this behemoth down, or equally a joy to drive one of the light tanks. There are many opportunities to sneak around. Now remember, this was before I keyed the secondary guns to my machine gun firing uh, button, the space bar. Because the howitzer's round moves a lot slower than the small 40mm uh, anti-tank gun. Which means it's difficult to get both of them on target unless you're very close to the... Uh, very close to your prey. That's a good word to use. There's another two. And we got a epic slugfest going up front. There's another one. Pop. He's dead. And this is the moment I really started feeling sorry for these noobs. It really was a seal club. I mean, just look at this cute Panzer 2C. Oh, look at him. Look at him get ripped apart. No mercy! He's burned out. The match is steadily winding to an end, but... I promise you this. Not before blood has been spilled this night. Not before the enemy lies in ruination. And I know for a fact that a mixture of these tanks I have killed were, in fact, bots, but that still doesn't take away from the incredible kill count I achieved. One thing that always makes me wonder is when you see so many people driving the Panzer 1C, you never see anyone uh, sorry, Panzer 2C, but you never see anyone driving the Panzer 2F. And I honestly think that's a very understated tank. It has an auto-loading uh, gun rather than a semi-automatic 20mm uh, AP rounds. Which just means you can really get rounds down range a lot faster. I've racked up some serious kills in that vehicle before and I always use it as a backup vehicle if I'm ever playing the Nuberfazoig German Tier 1 premium medium tank. Uh, there's nothing medium about it. I think as well what makes this tank very unfair is that when you get these low tier games, these really low tier games, people come across it, they've got no idea how to deal with it. It's, it's the only heavy tank at this level. It's got so many crew members, so many guns, you can eat rounds all day. Pop goes the weasel. It's an absolute joy to drive. Sadly, you don't see many of them. I think people always seem to think that for the same amount of money you can invest in, an e in a, a mid-tier premium tank. And you would be right. But no mid-tier premium is as fun as this. Feast! Feast upon him. Drink the oil from his brakes. There's another one. It's almost sad in a way.
has a similar effect to kicking puppies. Just another one of my analogies there. Patent pending, ladies and gentlemen. Patent pending. Well, there you have it. Possibly the greatest game I've ever had on this uh, game. And there you see it. 24 kills. No deaths. Over 6,600 experience gained. And it seems like no one on the team came anywhere near the kill count we did. Nor the enemy team, for a matter of fact. Well, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for more now that I'm back in operation. And have a good one.